Three months ago, Elena Capitanea sold her coffee business. It was time for a fresh start and a new project. She swapped out coffee grinds for citrus rinds and launched a juice business from an eye-catching location. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Dunedin with a tasty twist on Florida's citrus history. Hey, good. good to see you. How are you doing? I've missed you. I'm good. Elena Kepitaneus has you made plenty of best. friends Thank in Dunedin. From coffee to lemonade, right? <laughs> Her recently sold coffee shop always drew a crowd. There's not really any place like this in Dunedin, so everybody's eager to check it out. Got an orange aid. She's up to something new now. There's straws right below there. In a most unusual <laughs> place. Well, the boxcar is actually something I've really had my eyes on for a long time. It's hard to actually miss the bright red boxcar right on the Pinellas Trail. Catches your attention. Lemonade, limeade. Elena's newest culinary adventure offers a sweet twist on Florida history. Oh, this is the best. Like homemade. It's homemade. Yeah, it's very good. People get excited when we're squeezing citrus right in front of them on our juicers and uh, watching the process. People are excited to see it and uh, take part in a little bit of history. Peter Demons was the first person to build a railroad through Dunedin in 1888. It was part of the Orange Belt Rail System, which did transport people, but its main source of income actually was citrus shipments. Elena set up her boxcar, which looks very much like the one that carried citrus, right in the back of the Dunedin History Museum, which has exhibits that tells you all about how oranges became so special to this state of Florida. And that same citrus is getting a new twist, thanks to a Dunedin native. When I was a kid driving around, there was a lot of orange groves still. Um, now you don't see that as often, but um, it is nice to be able to bring some of that back. Everything comes back around, you know, repurpose of maybe it was carrying uh, oranges around and now we're serving all that to modern day Dunedin, you know? I hope this becomes a place where, you know, kids ask their parents, hey, can we stop by Lanes to grab a lemonade before the park or after? Um, it becomes a tradition, you know? Elena jokes that she loves lemonade because Greeks love all things with lemon. And she has been open for two weeks on Main Street in Dunedin.